is on the page. And we should be there. We're there. We're there. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I'm not there yet, but I was, <laughs> let me go there. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. And I'm going to try and go there. Good afternoon. This is Dr. Brenda Miller Chambliss is here for Florida Central Second Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. This is our, our um, media ministry outreach. And we were scheduled on Zoom, and we are on Zoom, but we wanted to maximize this and give people the opportunity that may not be just in front of their computer or may have forgotten this meeting to get the message out. So we're doing this so we can get more. So we're going to take a couple of minutes and just give you that opportunity to be able to share this with someone, go on and let somebody know that it's on and share. We're going to start out just while we're getting people to do this. Um, Superintendent Anderson, why don't you just take a moment? Not, don't go into your presentation, but just <clears throat> greet us, greet the saints while we're, we're spreading it and posting it and getting around and getting for folks to see it. And I want to put it on my page as well. Sure, sure, sure. Good afternoon, everyone. On this beautiful and gorgeous Saturday afternoon, I pray that you uh, uh, really took advantage of it. Uh, some beautiful Florida weather. And, and uh, we're, just, we're just grateful to have this opportunity to help you uh, spread the gospel even more effectively. Uh, the Bible tells us that uh, he that's winning souls are wise. And yes. what the pandemic has taught us is to, uh, re <laughs> it has taught us and pushed us to be more wiser in getting the word out, not just in Jerusalem, but you did Samaria and other most parts of the earth. And so, uh, as you know, the Holy Ghost is what gives us uh, the wisdom. And so we're grateful for the wisdom that he has bestowed upon us today. And we're looking forward to sharing uh, a lot of it with each of you as we endeavor to take Florida Central Second Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction to a whole nother level. Uh, Amen. Amen. And uh, we're, we're, we're grateful for our bishop, our, our jurisdictional prelect, uh, Bishop Edward Robinson, Sr., God blessings to you, Thanks sir. Thanks for watching, Love Bishop. You. Thank you for allowing us to serve. Yes, amen. Also, amen. Our, our uh, supervisor of women elect, uh, Mother Judy Little, we're grateful for you as well. We're thankful for all of our uh, Florida Central Second family. Listen, there's no no jurisdiction like our jurisdiction. Amen. We happen. And we need to spread that abroad. Yes. And so again, um, not getting into my presentation, yes. but we're not going to be anybody's best kept secret. That's You're right. Or just a little bit. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We're getting Amen. that word out. Dr. Will, introduce yourself to our audience as we're getting out and sharing and people are coming on and people are like, what? Yeah, this is, <laughs> we're here. I'm actually sharing it on my page, Superintendent Anderson. I don't know if you can share it on your page. So we can get it out. This is this is different, and we're meeting the people mm -hmm. where we are. One thing that we will not do, and I personally will not do, is I'm not going to be defeated. So if you won't come to where we are, we're going to come to where you are. And a lot of you are on social media and Facebook, so we're using this platform. So you may not have that interaction like you would uh, directly if you were on to be able to communicate with us on Facebook, some people may say, well, I wasn't really getting dressed for that, so I don't want to be on there, on there, on Zoom, so you can join us on here. Dr. Will, introduce yourself and let folks that may not know who you are and uh, talk a little bit about your personal experience with media. Amen. Um, well, I'm Dr. W.C. Chambliss. I am the husband of Dr. Brenda Chambliss, that's right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm her husband, and uh, we've been uh, doing uh, media ministry for quite a while. Um, Dr. Brenner originally started out as a DJ and she was the, uh, or is the publisher of what Brightside Magazine at that time that uh, evolved into uh, Harambe uh, Christian Magazine. And so from there, God gave a vision 
that we will be doing television. Now she did television uh, way back in the nineties. Uh, I only did radio, uh, but when we merged our ministries together and uh, God so blessed to join us together, uh, we started what God had gave us a vision. Uh, it was called Nephilim, the Next Phase Ministry Network International for pastors and leaders. And so God gave us a, mini a ministry and a vision for small church pastors. So we went through, I think, through 28 states. I mean, we traveled, we ministered, we carried a magazine, we talked about bodybuilders, the God had given us this, uh, this media ministry that's going to be a blessing to the body of Christ. So from that, bodybuilders television network was birthed. And uh, I believe it was in 2011. Amen. We were in St. Augustine, Florida. And uh, that's when we actually launched the network. We were already doing um, uh, syndicated television. We were already doing um, some of these states from, I think we went from Chicago all the way to Miami. Right. And we were already on uh, television on uh, with Com Comcast and uh, Time Warner. And uh, we were also on uh, Willie Garrett's network. At that time, he had a black, a lot of people think that was, the, you know, that the Impact Network was the uh, first African-American uh, Christian network, but that's not true. That's not true. Willie Gary had a network big, way back in the day. Amen. Yes. But uh, be that as it may, God blessed us to be able to uh, launch the Bodybuilder Television Network 2011. And uh, that's when the vision took, took flight. And uh, we've been doing it ever since. Uh, we had went to as far as we had 50 channels on different topics, different subjects, different genre. We dealt with everything from health to fitness to uh, grief. We, we dealt with women's ministry, men's ministry, youth ministry. Uh, we talked, we, we did things on evangelism, uh, prophecy. I mean, we dealt with every genre and every arena, gospel music, worship. I mean, conferences, <laughs> workshops, teaching, preaching, authors, books. I mean, we did. We went to every genre that we could to reach the masses. So we're here today uh, to allow everyone to be exposed to the giftings of Dr. Brenda and myself. So we're here uh, at, at, as an assignment to our bishop to uh, expose our ministry, share what God has given us. And it is our humble duty to do what our bishop had asked us to do Amen. And we're, we're excited. We're excited to be with uh, this jurisdiction. We're excited for our bishop and our, our mother, Mother Little, Bishop Robinson. We thank God for them. We thank God for, for the jurisdiction. We thank God for all of the pastors, superintendents, and uh, all the saints. So we're here today. And uh, I'm not getting into my presentation either. I'm just sharing who I am, what we've been doing for the past 21 years. Bodybuilders Network is 21 years old. Amen. And we thank God for it. Amen. Once again, those of you that are watching and uh, we are sharing it in places, this is the Florida Central Second Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. Our outreach today, we were coming to talk with pastors to, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm looking at the wrong camp. <laughs> I'm looking at the wrong place. We were talking with pastors uh, in our jurisdiction, pastors, leaders, to help prepare them for this next level, this next phase that we are in. And uh, we had our prepared our jurisdictional team uh, to be a part, to come and, and be a part and to be there and to share and, and talk about what we are doing and envisioning that. I've got a little presentation uh, to share. Um, I got a little presentation. That's good, because when you leave it, <laughs> I got a, I got a little presentation to share um, um, from Sister Jamila Rouse. We're going to be sharing that as well and uh, more. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to, let's see, I was going to, I need to find, get her video up here so I can um, share that as well as people are coming on, as people are sharing and doing um, for those that don't know, and as Dr. Will said, let me introduce myself as well. I'm Dr. Brenda Miller Chambliss. I'm uh, the first lady co-pastor. I call myself the ambassador of evangelism because that's what this media ministry is. Media 
is 21st century evangelism. This is how we get the word out. And our bishop, uh, our jurisdictional prelate, Bishop Edward Robinson Sr. has thought it and seen the vision of using media at home, in the community, in the marketplace to evangelize, to reach, to get the message out. I wanna throw this tidbit in. If you are a pastor out there, if you are unconnected, disconnected, connected to the wrong thing, I would like to give you the opportunity and to introduce you to Bishop Edward Robinson in the Florida Central Second Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. We have something to offer. Bishop Robinson has a vision for pastors. We are a group. It's a networking group he's there to pour in, but everybody brings something to the table. So make sure if you're out there, you're unconnected, disconnected. If you're a pastor, if you are a member and you're looking for a Lord. church, Florida Central Second Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction, Amen. we have churches all around. We have uh, churches in various areas, not just in Florida, all the way into Alabama and others. So you can get a chance to connect with us and find out more about what's going on and what's happening here in Florida Central Second Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. Well, come on, if you're watching on Facebook, if you're watching on Zoom, you still can connect on Zoom, but if you prefer, since we're on this format, just to go ahead and come on and join us on Facebook, do that. Go to Facebook, you can join us there. I'm popping over there to see how we're doing and how we're looking. You can join us on Facebook, spread the word, get the message out, let people know that uh, we are on the air here and we're sharing this afternoon uh, about media ministry, not just for Resurrection Sunday. That is our next, that is our next uh, major um. holiday that is coming up. As Superintendent Anderson said, not only is that holiday coming up, that holiday is one that um, is the biggest <laughs> during this pandemic. Oh, not Sister Ross, not yet. <laughs> that during this pandemic, it has uh, been sort of the first one, can I say, in a sense, coming out. Many of you may be uh, still sheltering in as we are. We we are uh, we're gonna be sheltering in for a while, okay? <laughs> well, well, us ain't going out. But those of you that have um, buildings, that have uh, churches, that have brick and mortar, whatever that brick and mortar is that you use, those of you that have that, and you will be getting ready, and you will be going out and doing your service for Resurrection Sunday, whether you're going out, as I say, or uh, whether you'll be sheltering in. This is a major time. You've got two weeks for that. But what after that? What about after the pandemic? What are you going to do after that, after those times? Well, see, that's things that we're going to be, those are things that we're going to be doing <laughs> and sharing and talking about uh, here uh, this afternoon. We want you, if you have questions, you can inbox me. Uh, I may not, let me see, I'm trying to be able to see where I can share both. So. Uh, if you want to, you can inbox me or on the um, on Facebook. You can inbox us on Facebook. Uh, get the message out. Um, we need more. Hey, so far, and which is not bad. We've got we we're reaching 55 people already that are has been reached by this and doing and um, so it's different. This is a Zoom, but we're Zoom live. So we're here talking to you. We're sharing with you. Spread that word out about Florida Central Second Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. This is a powerful ministry, a powerful outreach. And we're going to be talking today about evangelism and media ministry. We're focusing on that because that is literally what you're doing. You are evangelizing. And uh, we're going to sort of be changing that title because sometimes when you think, Oh, it's technology, you know, it's media ministry, it's technological, you know, and some people are doing it, they're enduring it, okay? They're enduring this format while we're going through this pandemic. So right. they're just trying to just lay there, you know, not literally lay there, but they're just 
um, mocking time, that's it. Right. They're mocking time to prepare for when we go back, when we go back to our churches, when we get back in our buildings, when we do go back, many are preparing for that. But even when you go back, it's not going to be the same. It's coming into spring and then it's going to be summer. So we've got about maybe eight, eight to eight weeks of warm weather here in Florida, eight weeks, but up in the mountains, now it's still, it's still cold up there and snowing. So depending upon where you are, but for the Florida jurisdiction, I think the weather is basically going to be summery, you know, spring mm -hmm. and summer. Uh, don't forget tomorrow, uh, for, uh, spring ahead, spring ahead tomorrow uh, for the time. So we'll be going into spring. We'll be springing ahead. And uh, we, we, it'll be a, a minute before we fall back, but at least we're springing ahead. That's right. Uh, on that. And then we're going to be talking about how to prepare your ministry and using media evangelism. God knows wow. just how to do things. I was not going to talk about this today. I was going to do it later. But because of the format, I see this is what God wants us to do. Technology is 21st century media evangelism. It's evangelism in 21st century. Media, technology. Wow cell phones, um, all of the different formats and things that we are doing and using. This is 21st century evangelism, pastors. Yes. This is how you're going to reach that person. This is how you're going to reach that mom at home, that person that's working from home, that business person that's going to be a new entrepreneur. This is how you're going to reach that young person. Definitely from here and WhatsApp, Instagram, all of these things, uh, Twitter, uh, you, you're going you're gonna to have to be where people are. That's what we did today. We started this to be what? This was to be on Zoom just to reach our pastors and just mm -hmm. to reach the people directly that are a part of the jurisdiction. But because we did not get the numbers that we were looking for, Pastor uh, Chambliss, and uh, I told Superintendent Anderson, he said, go for it. I said, Let, we're going to go to where the people are. Y'all get ready. We're going Facebook Live. We're going to go to where Amen. they are. We're going to share it on several platforms to reach mm -hmm. the people where they are and doing. And uh, when I first went a few minutes ago, I checked, there was a, it was 61 people that were on. Now we're up to reaching 182 people. We want to get those numbers up. Spread that word. You need yes. to hear this. There are lay people out there that are a part of their church. Your pastor may not be technology equipped, but you can become an evangelist. You can, you don't have to wait for the title. You can help your pastor get the word out. You can help your pastor get the word out. Um, you know more because you use it more. Let's face it. Some of y'all, sometimes I have sent out things at three o'clock in the morning. I'm up you know, for various reasons, send something out at three o'clock in the morning. I'm like, are you kidding me? I get 18 responses like, like this. I'm like, why are y'all awake? Why are y'all up? <laughs> <I'll be talking. laughs> Say what, Pastor? You up too. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, come on, y'all. Why are, why are y'all up? Y'all should, should not be up. But um, let's see. Uh, um. Deacon Davis says uh, neither his phone or his computer are connecting to the Zoom. I'm back on Zoom and um, just retry. And uh, let's see. Do you need another invite? What I'm going to do is. Uh, yeah, resend it. Huh? Yeah, go ahead and resend it going to resend Deacon Davis another insight. Mm -hmm. But what I'm going to do in the interim, uh, Superintendent Carl Anderson, I'm going to give you this opportunity to go ahead and start and begin and share. Uh, I, I wanted to do an intro of an intro bio. We're going to get those. We're going to be doing this again. But, you know, introduce yourself that you're not who you are, what you do, and share from that standpoint because you are well qualified. We're not just talking about things. You are well, well qualified. Let me say this. 
<clears throat> when we got back and we were talking and talking to you and seeing all the advancements and stuff, I'm gonna tell you for a minute, I felt old because I remember when you were young. <laughs> And for a brief moment, I'm like, good Lord, oh my gosh, these children have grown up. Hey, don't, don't let all this here fool y'all. It's a couple of years behind this. But I am so proud. I am so proud of you and uh, the Anderson family. Uh, when I came in this church in 73, 1973, your family, superintendents and all that, I'm a, that's a part of my, my heritage. And when I came into Kojic, so uh, you wear the name proudly and do the family <laughs> justice. And I just wanted to throw that in and say, just keep up the good work, son. Just, just keep up the good work. Glory to God, glory to God. It's a pleasure to be working with you all with the media ministry. I thank God for this um, new ministry on Florida Central Second Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. I'm glad that we're able to share it abroad. I've shared this with many other pastor groups that I'm a part of as well, because we all could use this. It's very important. What I come to realize is that in every industry, there is a sales component. In every industry, uh, there's a, a sales component, which means that in order to boost the results, you have mm -hmm. to promote it. You have to yeah, promote it. Right. And, and, and what we're in the business, we're in soul business. Our soul business is soul business. And so in order for us to reach souls, we have to promote it. Uh, well, you know, and I, I can recall John saying, one voice crying out in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we have to cry out. We have to let the world know that we are here, that we have good news. We have the gospel yes. to offer. And so when we think of that, we must think of uh, it as evangelism. It's a part of us. Yes. I can recall Dr. Brenda uh, when I was at um, at Magic 101.3 uh, so several years ago, um, and um, I hosted a church, uh, church I hosted a show, Church with the Rev. Uh, but I was also in sales, and I, I, I say this only I was top biller there, and God used me uh, to uh, help many businesses and churches. But I ran across this one church. It was a small church in this little country town called Windsor, Windsor Baptist Church. And at the time they had a pastor, uh, his name was Pastor Mike. And Pastor Mike said that, you know, people may not ever come out here, but we've been commissioned to follow the Great Commission. Mm -hmm. Go ye therefore, teach all Amen. nations, baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. So what they did was all the money that was coming in, they reserved it. And around resurrection time they would have big uh big banners all across the city hmm. announcing about the resurrection they would get on secular radio stations and he would do a 60 second sermonette on this at the time it was who let the dogs out after who let the dogs out here come <laughs> pastor mike doing a commercial break sharing the gospel and praying for people Many people got saved. Many people uh, gave their life to the Lord. And, mm. uh, and he still was able to fulfill the Great Commission by going out on radio. <laughs> and he was savvy. He was wise. He didn't go on the nearest uh, gospel radio station. He went on the secular station where, right. the, where the harvest was great. And he let the, he let the line out. And he drew as many people as possible. And today, mm -hmm. and that's what I want to let you know, uh -huh. we cannot be your city's best kept secret. Amen. We can't. Right. We can't. Everybody else is out. Everybody else is, is verbal about it, prideful about what they believe in. <clears throat> we mm -hmm. need to take pride as well. And we could do that in such creative ways. There are certain mediums where you can get on and really get results. There are some that are more passive than others. You got right. the newspaper who's somewhat passive. I know most people are <laughs> used to churches putting their information in newspapers, all right? I know most people are used to sending little cards in the mail, direct mail, Right. you know? We have to get away from the traditional way right. of advertising and marketing, not only our special events, 
but our ministries in general. Those coasters, those are coffee coasters. And even in business, mm -hmm. uh, direct mail only has 1% uh, of, of a return of our investment. Newspaper is almost a dying breed. Even they're on uh, mm -hmm. phones, devices, and computers now. Mm -hmm. But the more aggressive mediums are still TV and radio. Yeah. Radio and TV. Mm -hmm. And now we have a new one. Now we have a new one. It's called social media. People yeah. are parked all day mm -hmm. on, 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 on Facebook. All day. The, 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 the statistics <laughs> are that people spend at least eight hours on <laughs> social media a My. day. And so yeah. if we really want to reach the people where they are, we have to go to them. And right now is a great time to go to them because a lot of people are parked at home, still quarantined. Not mm -hmm. everybody's out living willy-nilly. People are still being careful. And so uh, my question is, what is preventing people from trying new things? One of the main things is cost. People think it's, people think it's so expensive. That's people right. think that it costs so much to do radio, TV. I come today to surprise you. I come today to let you know that you can compete with the best of them. Mm -hmm. There's something that we say in media, in marketing, shared vision. Shared vision, shared vision. Watch this. Watch this. Shared voice equals mm -hmm. shared market. Shared mm -hmm. voice equals shared market. That means that if one voice is only out there, then that church is most likely to take the market. And by right. all means, we want them to save Come as many souls as possible. But right. listen, let's be real. That one church can't get all the people. You right. have, you can get a lion's share of the market and save. And to get and save some folk as well. So, so shared voice equals shared market. You need to get in the game as well. Get on TV. Get on radio like the rest of them. Right. Get on social media, and mm -hmm. and let's get your lion's share of the souls that God will have you do. The Bible says, "Go again." It says, That's "Go right. ye into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in." Lord wants you to bring them in. All mm -hmm. right. And so, 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 listen to me. I'm going to give you a, a couple examples of, of, of prices in, in some markets, and, and that, that, that'll just knock, you, knock your socks off. Uh, and, and, you, and, and people say, you think, well, I don't have money to do that. Mm -hmm. Listen, I want you to call me. I want, I want to help you. Uh, and that's, what, that's a part of what we're doing here. We're here to help you and help your ministry grow leaps and bounds. All right? I'm going to just give you an example. I did this presentation for a church there in Lake City. And they, she was having contention with her, uh, with her board. And there was like, I don't think we're ready for this. I don't think we're, I don't know if we're ready to do this. You know, money is, all, is always a concern. I said, well, you know what? I said, what do you watch? I asked one mm -hmm. of the board members. Say, I like to watch half and half knots. I said, do you know how much that costs in your market? She said, $50. <laughs> somebody else, that's somebody else. Thirty-five dollars. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I said, "No, you all are wrong. It's only five dollars in your market to mm -hmm. run a thirty-second commercial in that show in your market. In their Do you market, know what it costs to run uh, on TV a uh, broad rotator uh, yep. in the market on own or BET. Someone says, hmm." $15, I guess, $10. I say, you're wrong. It's a dollar holiday in your market, only $1. And these aren't overnights as well. These are, these are during, the, uh, during, time, during the time that people are watching. Same with radio. Radio mm -hmm. is not that expensive That's as right. people would think. They have all types of deals, especially now because everybody was hurting because of this pandemic. People mm -hmm. put together a special package that's affordable to your budget. The bottom line is that you have to recognize that it's essential for mm -hmm. you to have a budget. Mm -hmm. so you got to have an advertising right. marketing budget. Remember, there's an advertising and marketing component in every industry, in every industry. And so in order for you to, to, to do it, it's going to cost you something. That's Even right. with media, Oh my God! To boost my ad on 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 Facebook, 
that's got to be expensive. It's not. It's not. You could put as, as little as a dollar, three dollars on there uh, to run a few days. Uh, five dollars for five days. You can do a dollar a day. And that's right. reach out to that one time. That's, that, listen, <laughs> yeah. you don't have that many people to reach at one setting, a thousand at one time. That's right. So it's about putting hooks in the water. Okay. Yeah. It's about putting hooks in the water. It's a numbers game. And the more hooks you put in the water, the more you, the more most likely you're to pull and mm -hmm. get some fish. But if you listen, watch this. I say this all the time. <laughs> if you fish in a smaller pond, mm -hmm. you're not going to get the results as if you're fishing in a big lake. However, watch this. I want you to write this down. <laughs> write this down. It's better to what fish in a pond. Uh -huh. With 100% impact than a large lake at 10%. Mm -hmm. So if you've got a smaller budget, let's make your dollars reach farther than trying to get on some big expensive station or do something huge. All right? Mm -hmm. Don't go try to get a billboard. Why? That's right. It's too expensive for your budget. And people have to be in the area of the billboard to see it. That's right. Let's be people where they are. Let's go social media. Let's go TV. Let's go radio. Call yours truly, Pastor Carl, the Rev Anderson, Superintendent Anderson. <laughs> AAA Marketing is my company. And uh, my wife and I started this company back in 2012. Um, we, The Lord had uh, told me to leave radio. I hated to do it. I was at the top of my game. Love what I did. But the Lord instructed me to leave. And, 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 I, and during that time, I went full-time in ministry, got a chance to take care of my father uh, on his last days before he passed away, his last months or, uh, before he uh, passed away. Little did I know that I still would have clients tugging on me to help them because we had done so well for them. And my, I mean, my wife prayed about it. We started AAA Marketing. That's the word, triple letter A Marketing. Our hmm. website is AAAMarketing.biz. We also have a Facebook page. You can call me 352-339-3851. Listen, you don't have to pay me a consulting fee. You don't have to pay me. Listen, the, 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 the companies that we buy from, they take care of me. You don't have to worry about it. So it's, mm -hmm. not, it's not like we can, I can go and do that myself. You won't. First of all, most likely you won't get the rates that I get. <laughs> so make sure you call us. We'll mm -hmm. take care of you. And again, you don't have to worry about spending uh, extra with me. Well, if you have a five hundred dollar budget, five hundred budget going to go towards your advertising. All right, that's how it works. So whatever it is, and I just threw that out there. If it's two hundred, three hundred, five hundred, five thousand, ten thousand, my point is, I have a budget in order for you to reach and grow your ministry. If you have any questions, please put it on our our. Uh, post here um, in the browser. We'll be free. Feel free to answer any of your questions. There's much more where that come from. I do these uh, uh, throughout the country. Um, and um, recently, I think the last one I did one was uh, the AME denomination uh, for this region. And uh, listen, we're, we're here to help. And I guarantee you, as our local churches grow, our jurisdictions will grow. And that's why Bishop saw fit to start our yeah. media ministry mm -hmm. under the headship of Dr. Brenda Miller Chambliss. God bless. You. <laughs> <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> yeah. All right. Awesome. A Amen. Uh, people are asking, make sure you drop your info in the comment section. I sure will. Sure will. Please sure make will. sure to put that. Uh, and the comment section, if you have information as well as, and we are highlighting our personal experiences because we want you to know that our jurisdictional prelate, Bishop Edward Robinson Sr. is top notch. He appointed qualified people in the industry that knew what they were doing to be able to help you, our pastors. And those that are interested, 
So once again, we're here for the Florida Central Second Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction, and we are team members. We're not just at the church, but we're part of our jurisdiction. We're pastors, superintendents, district missionaries, evangelist missionaries that are there, and we are a team from the youngest to the oldest. Everyone has something to offer. And in Florida Central Second Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction, we got something to offer. You, Those of you that are watching now, our numbers are up to 373. Come on, we want to get more. Get Amen. this word out. There are people that are making decisions right now. A lot of people are not going back. So there are many denominations that are closed and they won't be opening back until fall. There are a lot of churches that are closed. There are people that were places that they may not be going back and they're looking for something. If you're mm -hmm. looking for something, if you're looking for a place to be where you can mm -hmm. be respected, oh my gosh, I can go on and on about our bishop because we are back. We're back after eight years and I'm be careful in saying this the way I'm saying it, but uh, ain't no place like home. Let me say it, we, we, were, we were not here and I, I gained a greater appreciation for the wow. teaching that I had and from uh, uh, the late Bishop C.D. Kinsey and when Bishop Robinson, before he was Bishop Robinson, he was my superintendent when uh, I was pastoring and then he became my bishop. He has a heart for people. He does not yeah. have a closed door policy. You can go in, talk to him and share. He has a heart for pastors and leaders, male and female male and female pastor has a heart for you so bishop robinson has a heart for you uh what um superintendent anderson just shared i know i said five to seven minutes because that was supposed to be when we had everybody else on so but you could have gone a little more but that <laughs> you could have gone a little i was like no oh, yeah. he's gonna stop no because you're just getting in yeah. because i wanted to uh, pose a, a question to you Sure, for sure. the people, if that's okay, sure, let that's me ask the question that I feel like they may ask. One of the sure. questions I want to pose, Superintendent Anderson, is where do you start? What would a person, a pastor, uh, say at what point, like what you've been pointing out, at what point, what's the first thing to do? Step one. Okay, they're going to hear this, and I know they can contact you, but prep them. What's the first okay, thing that you're telling them to do? The first step is to call me and set up a, a, a client needs analysis, a, a, C, a CNA. And that way I can hear your vision. I can hear what, do you, what you're wanting to accomplish. I can hear which direction you want to go and also get a feel of how much you want to spend. And then I can go out effectively and put together a strategic marketing plan that coincides with your budget yet is effective for not only for your events, but for your church. And, and, and that's one thing that we need to get out of. We got to stop being so event driven. Uh, we have to be <laughs> church driven. Hear me, because okay. listen, uh, in between events, people are going to forget. There are some people that are just event shoppers. They just want to go to see the the, the new the, 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 pro, the, the prophet in town, uh, come to your event and won't look back. But when you're constantly out there, you're sharing what you do on a regular basis. One of the things that's sickening to me is when people say that, you know, the churches aren't doing anything. Well, that's because they're not seeing what we're doing. Where well, a lot of us take, uh, take, it, take it as braggadocious, but no, we can, uh, we can let people know the services and programs that we offer in our ministries. How, you, how are they going to know where to come? Mm -hmm. That's if right. You know, so, and, and Bishop Blake said this one time, and I'll never forget it. Our presiding, our presiding bishop said 50% of the people were coming through invited. And so, yeah. so we have to make sure that we continue to stay out there. And that's why it's important for you to get a budget that's comfortable so you can stay out there and keep watering those seeds. Have you ever seen a, a, someone plant a seed and expect a tree the next day? No. All right, so, so, so for that reason alone, you have to keep, sowing those seeds every day, every week, every month, putting it out there, putting it out there, putting it out there. And pretty soon you're going to start seeing a return uh, on your investment. People are going to start coming. And, uh, you know, church, you know, joining a church is a big thing, you know, mm -hmm. and, and people take it as that. It's kind of like buying a car or a house. 
uh, when they're ready for it, when they're ready to join, uh, when they've made their, their minds, you know, then they'll know where to go. You know what? I did see uh, this church called Southside Advertising, uh -huh. uh, PGL. Uh, I heard them on, I saw them on Bounce. Uh, you know, I, I've been seeing this church Southside on, on CW. Uh, in J they're here in Jackson. They offer some really good programs. I think I want to go to that church because they I see what they're doing. They're not just, they're bigger than Sunday. They're, 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 they're having more than church. You know, I, I, they, they even showed clips from uh, when they were giving away food and that type of thing. And so again, uh, the first step is calling, all right? Overcoming your fears, uh, stepping out on faith, calling. And let's set up a CNA, a client needs analysis, and let's make sure that your needs are met. Remember, people perish, what? For lack of knowledge. And where there's no vision, people also perish. And so I need to know your vision so that we can get you to where you wanna go. Fantastic, put that information in there to contact Superintendent Carl Anderson. And the name of your agency again, Superintendent Anderson? Triple A marketing, the word triple letter A marketing, triple A marketing. Triple A marketing, and you can find that there and also know this. And we're preparing for our pastors at Florida Central Second Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. We're going to be going into more about that as we go to our next uh, I guest. I want to ask Superintendent Fred. something. Superintendent I'm Anderson. Sorry? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I want to ask him a question. Superintendent mm -hmm. Anderson. Yeah, a lot of pastors don't see the viability of they're putting the budget in marketing because if I got a sign, I got members that are telling their family and what have you. And so and I got a witnessing team. And so they go out every Saturday, blah, 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 blah. But you said a key thing when you use the scripture. Jesus sent John the Baptist, mm -hmm. a forerunner. Right. And said you hear, he said that the, uh, he came. In the spirit of Elias, and it says, one greater than I, who's coming after me, whose shoes I'm not worthy to unlap. And he said, a voice of one cried in the wilderness, cry in the wilderness, prepare you to wait the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. John was the ultimate marketer. That's right. He was the first broadcaster. He was the first. <laughs> I love it. You know what? I'm going to use that. Can I borrow that? Man, you can have it. <laughs> I like it. I want to jump out of this chair. I say, wait a minute. We're missing it. We're missing it. Preachers, yeah. pastors, men of God. And Dr. B, I know we're not supposed to go this way, but go. It's it's helping me because I'm the prototype pastor. Okay. Yes. I'm the prototype. We have a we have a mentality. Pastors have a mentality. And usually, and you said it, we want instant gratification. We want it to come. Mm -hmm. You know, but 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 with with it's like advertising, you know, it is it, something that you know you you look for it, but it pays. It's advertising pays. It doesn't cost. It, it pays. doesn't cost. It pays. So if you're advertising, it pays. It's gonna come back, and it's gonna come back like the scripture said, cast your bread upon the waters, and then after uh -huh. many days, it's gonna come back, and it's gonna come back. If your name is out there, like Dr. B said, you know what, you got to keep that branding out there. You, you didn't mention branding, but that's a part of it. It is. It is. And, and it's the reason why I didn't mention branding, because branding sort of scares pastors. And I, I'm going to get there. You know, I'm going to get <laughs> right. Uh, right. They, 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 they feel like branding is getting a logo. Okay. And, uh, and, a, and a logo is just a logo. In fact, right. uh, you know, uh, the, the, <laughs> the logo shouldn't depict your ministry, your ministry should depict your logo. Right. Uh, I mean, exactly. so a lot of people got it wrong. They, they feel like they get a logo, they make these pretty flyers, uh, and that's good. But one thing that I found out, and I found out as a pastor myself, you cannot depend on, 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 on your folk uh, to, 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 mm -hmm. to, 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 to spread those flyers. Mm -hmm. uh, just simply cannot just de let, depend solely on them. Now, it's, it's good when you train them and encourage them and when mm -hmm. they get excited about it. But, but ultimately, you have to, you have to really uh, have another machine going on the yes. side called advertising and marketing. You know, yes. let's be real. There are people that are introverts. Mm -hmm. There are people that are scared to ask anybody for anything. And so you expect them mm -hmm. to be a marketer by handing them a flyer to hand to somebody. <laughs> you know, 
I mean, let's be real. I mean, and that's because that's how we think that, mm -hmm. oh, we don't need, we don't need the bell app. We, we got all our marketers out here and half of these people, half of these people, you know, they're, they're, they're introverts, yep. you know, and, uh, and we have to understand that. And so why not take it to another level? I believe that anything, here's my, here's a, something that, I, I, that, I've, that I've always based my life on, all right? We need to do everything in the spirit of excellence. Yes. Because it honors God. That's right. Reflects his character. Yes. Do yes. everything in the spirit of excellence. We cannot shortchange his work. We cannot shortchange his ministry. That's right. You know and oh, people say get deep. They say a uh, 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 branding. Here's the branding. All the branding I need. If if his name be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. Come on, somebody. <laughs> the Lord used a little boy. Come, Come on, on yes. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> and a bread basket. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, the Lord worked through channels. Yeah. He Channels, he can most certainly work through us. He worked through a whore at the well. Woo! Huh? Come on. He That's saw right. something in her. He intentionally went to that town because he knew it was something in this woman. She knew how to sail. Come on. That's right. <laughs> and Come when, on he now. Converted, when she got converted, he allowed her to keep that same selling instinct and she said come see a man hallelujah see a man and she saved <laughs> she saved the whole city they all came to see him. huh i guess you could say she was number two broadcaster <laughs> <laughs> that may be a book the broadcasters of the bible <laughs> come on now all right Hey, I'll market it for you. Hey, I'll market it for you. Hey, thank you so much. Hey, that was powerful. Listen, powerful, powerful. I, I love this. This is so good because it's, it's, it's real. It's where we are. It's dealing with the facts and a cultural mindset. Dr. Will, let me do this. While you're in the vein of talking, let me introduce you. And then okay. you can go from there and share. Our next presenter is my husband, Dr. Will Chambliss. He's a senior pastor of the Embassy Church of God in Christ. We're recently located back here in Palatka, Florida. We are in Palatka, Florida. Uh, Dr. Will and I are back from Murphy, North Carolina. We have people that are watching in that area. We still have an outreach in Cherokee, Cherokee, North That's Carolina, right. home of the Eastern Cherokee. Band of Cherokee Indians. Those are my people. We've been uh, there for eight years, and uh, they're still watching. We and love it. When it's COVID permits, we'll be going bad. And um, man, I can't wait till it's time we can travel and we can take a group and a team up to Cherokee. Y'all ain't seen nothing till y'all seen Cherokee Indians worship. <laughs> Come on now. And uh, we're looking forward to that. So Dr. Will is also the producer of not just our church broadcast, but the Bodybuilders Television Network. Bodybuilders Television Network is now in its 21st year proclaiming and right. promoting uh, programming and ministry from a classical Pentecostal perspective. And we encourage all of you to go there and watch, I'll uh, drop that info in. Dr. Will is just gonna share on this afternoon as he was talking from his personal experiences as a pastor uh, coming from not doing media, being involved to the other side of being this extensively involved mm -hmm. in media. So, Dr. Will, the floor is yours. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Brenner. I enjoyed myself. I'm making it quick. I want to deal with five vital tips for a church to start their TV production. Starting a TV production. So, so many pastors uh, that started during the pandemic. Beforehand, a lot of pastors, a lot of churches, ministry wasn't doing any uh, broadcasting whatsoever. And then once the pandemic hit, the last resort when they closed down all the ministries and churches <laughs> they had no choice. folk had to go on facebook and they start screaming so the ultimate goal for most ministries is to get on that's not the goal pastor to get on the goal is 
to do it in a spirit of excellence, like superintendent say, spirit of excellence. You don't have to have a great big budget. So start a TV ministry or a TV ministry, you can do it uh, as cheap or as much as you have as far as uh, budget wise for a ministry. So I'm gonna deal with five points. The first point, if you haven't started your TV ministry, buy the best camera, the affordable camera that you can afford. Don't try to buy this great big expensive high def camera or 4K or whatever, don't, don't go that route because you got other things that's important, that's vitally important to your, your ministry as far as broadcasting. Another thing when you're going on uh, Facebook, you don't have to have the best resolution camera but if you have a pretty decent high def camera because uh, nine times out of 10, the highest resolution you're gonna get on a screaming is gonna be 720. And that's that's gonna be it. You very rarely get um, um, the highest resolution is 720 or 1080p, okay? But if you get a nice affordable camera that has a clean HDMI out, that will suffice as far as your uh, camera. So your budget could range from 200 to 250, uh, give or take, it depends. I've told people this, I said, hey, you don't have to buy brand new. You could probably get something that's used and maybe that would fit your budget and you won't have to break the bank, so to speak. We're talking to small church pastors. We're not talking to the mega church boys because most of them got the budgets, they got the staff, they got the resources, and they got stuff like Hollywood. So I'm not talking to you, mega church pastor, but I'm talking to the small church pastor uh, who's um, have basically uh, Sister uh, Mary Jo on the corner got her phone. And this is what we see most times on church streaming. Someone got their phone in their hand and they're shaking and moving and, you know, and... Uh, Somebody got to get up, and so someone stands up in front of them, and so you got you got a mess here, and you got people depend on that on Sundays to see their favorite pastor, preacher, minister the word. So first, I would say tip one: get a affordable, uh, high def camera within your budget, something reasonable. Number two: buy a decent tripod. Now, first right. mentioned about someone holding the camera. When you're free, ha free uh, handling a camera, it's going to be virtually impossible to, to stay still. That's why it's important to have that. If, that, if you got a nice phone, you got a very good phone, an iPhone, or just a regular Android, put it on a tripod, have it sitting there, stabilize it, get in a good spot, and pull in. A lot of times, if you're not um, educated in the area of production, most people, when they start out, they just put it on, they don't pull in, they don't, they don't focus in on anybody, they're not moving it, they're not making an experience. So you don't want it to be just a church service, you want it to be an experience for the people and you want to make it pleasant for them so that they can follow the message or the preaching. Or it could be that song that touched their heart. Okay, mm -hmm. thirdly, you need proper lighting. Lighting is so important. Good lighting is another key that uh, differentiates you from the, the average person that's producing. Good lighting is just as important as good video. And your video is no good without good lighting. So they go hand in hand. You can have the best camera, but if that lighting is not there and it's dark and it's, it's not uh, where a person can actually see, but if you got lighting, if the building is dark, you have to bring some uh, other lighting in there. And aim that lighting, uh, I, I recommend three-point lighting, uh, two to the side, one in the front, or what have you, or backlight if you can. Or this is the internet age, go on YouTube, do your research. Listen, I go to YouTube school for everything. That's how I'm fixing my cars. I'm working on my house, why? I go to YouTube school. So we're just trying to encourage you. Superintendent Anderson, you said something that was so powerful, you said, the spirit of excellence. God wants us to do everything in the spirit of excellence. Amen. A good camera, affordable camera, a good fluid head tripod. It's gonna cost you a couple of hundred dollars to get you a good fluid head tripod, something that's smooth, easy to handle, uh, professionally done. We're doing things in a, on a shoestring budget professionally, okay? You know, like you said, advertising is not as expensive as you think. And television production, the, the the listen, the ground, the ground has been level, the playing field is level. What costs when I started in, in television, 
it cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. <laughs> yes, it did. Do you hear me? We had a friend, uh, Carrie Goins. He uh, he was the producer of um, Martha Stewart's. And uh, what's the other lady? The cooking Paula lady? Paula Dean. Paula Dean. He, he, he working with the A-listers, OK? This guy got mobile trucks, big, big trucks, you know, the big studio trucks and, and the big studio cameras. And oh my God, he spent hundreds of thousands of dollars. When we started working with him, he said, I wish I would have known. I would have spent all that money. He said, all you need is a, a tricaster and a suitcase and a few good cameras, you know, some good lighting. And you can do, you got a studio in a box. That's yeah. how the, the playing field has leveled. So right now, anybody, any church, any pastor can have a decent uh, production in their church, not on a high budget, good, decent cameras, excellent lighting, fluid head tripod. And the, one of the most important things I would say other than the video is your audio. You gotta have decent audio. I hate when someone is doing a, a presentation or ministry of uh, the word is going for, the pastor's preaching, and the sister on, in pew three is louder than the pastor. <laughs> you know, the congregation is louder than the preaching. Now, you know why? Because you're recording ambient. And when you record ambient, listen, you, when you record ambient, that means you get all of the other noises around the preaching. And it sounds good in church. Oh yeah, we love the feel, you know, the hand clapping, foot stomping. We love that. It's a good feel, but it's not a professional pro production. You want to tie into your, audio mixer, you need the proper uh, adapters to tie that camera into your mixer. That's where you can, you can separate the sounds and you can actually control the audio professionally where you can also hear sister in, in pew three and hear the man of God or woman of God that's ministering because you have proper audio. So camera one, um, then you gotta have proper lighting two, three. You have, have to have a decent tripod three and four audio you need proper audio for your production and finally post-production post-production is important because as we grow and as we um go to the next level of phase in our television production uh you need to have a good program where you can edit out or you can add in there's a lot of what, what's going on now with those that are doing media now they're pre-recording things even now, I, will, I watched two uh, spring conferences last night. I watched, uh, I watched Louisiana uh -huh. last night, and I also watched uh, uh, Arkansas. Arkansas first and Louisiana first. Historic Louisiana first, Dr. Uh, um, Proctor, Bishop Proctor, Louisiana, and uh, the other bishop over in Arkansas. Anyway, you know why I'm able to be in these conferences? Because of social media. Superintendent Anderson said that like this, social media is maybe probably one of the greatest tools other than television and radio. Radio is never going nowhere, trust me. Radio is the grandfather of it all because before there was television, there was radio. What is TV? TV is just radio with pictures, okay? <laughs> That's all TV is. But what we got now with internet, we're able to look in on and be a part of a, a greater uh, diversity of churches, ministries, and all of the other things that's going on. It revolutionized the church as we know it. Post-production, you need to good, get a good editing program. I recommend Final Cut Pro or uh, some, uh, you got all of these different programs out there. And it used to cost hundreds of thousands of dollars years ago to get a decent program. You can get probably get Final Cut Pro for about 300 bucks. You don't have to spend that much money. Uh, they even have on, on YouTube, they even have some free editing programs that you can avail yourself to. So um, these are the five points uh, I, I believe that's going to help you with your media ministry. And I pray that I said something that was encouraging to you, pastor, uh, media ministry person, uh, continue to strive for a spirit of excellence in every area. And don't be afraid to say, I don't know, I don't understand. No question is a bad question when it comes to doing the thing of God in the spirit of excellence. That's my uh, presentation. God bless you. Thank you so much for Dr. Will. And um, these are some of the areas and things and we don't have, I, I, I don't, I promise not to 
come before you too long. And um, I put my information and things there. What I would like to do, if I can, I'm going to say the best for last. We will be rescheduling and we will schedule a, another meeting. And it's, we're either going to do probably on the fourth Saturday. We want you to get ready right now for your Resurrection Sunday on that fourth Saturday. And um, you will be able to join us and do. I am so glad that you joined us on today. You're going to say, Dr. Bre Brenda, you're not sharing. Listen, this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to get you on. Yeah. And had we had more time, I would have shared more, done more. But I encourage you, I want to encourage you to do this. Go to the Bodybuilders Television Network, classical Pentecostal programming, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We bring you programming from a classical Pentecostal perspective. We are part of the NRB, National Religious Broadcasters, <clears throat> and doing. And, you know, go there. You can look for information on our church. Take this after the fact. Share this and be blessed. I'm going to ask Dr. Will, will you close us out in prayer on today? Amen, certainly. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this great opportunity to express what you've given us. Lord, everything that we have, everything that we do, everything that we know is because of you. So, Lord, as you have blessed us, Lord, you say freely have I received, freely give. We freely give the experience, the knowledge, the wisdom, the, the understanding, God, of, of, of all of these areas in media, God, from promotion to, uh, to social media, to, uh, to, to um, advertising every area, Lord. We, we want to make sure that we disseminate the information in a way that the people can receive. Father God, I thank you for our bishop. Lord, bless him, touch him. Strengthen him for tomorrow in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for our mother. God, we thank you for our, our supervisor. Lord, bless her, strengthen her, and keep her. Lord, look on all the pastors, all the superintendents, God, all the saints of the Most High God. Lord, we pray blessings upon them, Lord, and we thank you for the opportunity to minister to your people. So we give you all the glory, all of the honor, and all of the praise. It all belongs to you. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Good evening. I'm Dr. Brendan Miller Chambliss, and on behalf of our Department of Media Ministry, <clears throat> Deacon Willie Davis was trying to get on. He could not get on. Sister Jamila, uh, she gave us a promo that I couldn't get going. I want you to know things do go wrong. And speaking of going wrong, my main computer <laughs> it started downloading with all of our information on it. And the computer that I'm on now, I'm gonna be honest, I'm rushing because I got about one minute of power. It's dying on me. So, hey, things do happen, but you've got to learn how to go right along with it. Hey, make sure you contact me. My information is there, especially pastors, leaders, individuals that are part of the Florida Central Second Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. Please contact me. We're there for you, Superintendent Anderson, Dr. Will, myself, the whole team. We're there for you. But individually, will you spread the word about the Bodybuilders Television Network? As we are getting you ready for television, we have a venue that reaches 10,000 people a day through our Bodybuilders wow. Television Network. We want to get ready, get you ready. So by fall, we will have an entire new out outreach, especially represented from Florida Central Second Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. Hey, get ready. Don't forget. Spring ahead on tomorrow so you'll That's be on right. the church. God bless you. We'll see you next time. Amen. God bless you. God bless you there. Enjoyed it. Thank you. <laughs>